back. I just want to introduce a new clover to you here. We've developed a new white clover at uh, the at Texas A&M Overton. This is Natchez white clover. It's named after the Natchez River here in Texas. Um, we're excited about this clover because it's um, it combines a lot of a lot of traits together that that just uh, fit for the use in our area. Uh, one thing we we like white clover for uh, bottomland sites because white clover does great on these wet soils. Uh, the only problem then is that sometimes in the summer these areas get you know, we get hot and dry here and we can lose stands of our white clover. We've developed uh, Natchez white clover to stand up to these conditions. As you can see it's flowering now. Here it is in early June. It's flowering really well and has been flowering for over a month. So we're producing seed that can uh, reseed for us. White clover can act like a perennial uh, for us here in Texas, but, uh, but it doesn't do well in our really hot, dry summers. So this reseeding capability and the fact that Natchez produces uh, a, lot of, of, a lot of flowers early on and we get bees to work those flowers and produce seed. So we can have a reseeding stand of white clover with Natchez. Uh, it also is very, very productive. It's larger, larger leaves than the old Louisiana S1 types. So uh, it's a great clover for us and we expect it to do great things uh, here in the bottomland areas of East Texas and all across the South. Okay, this is a really good comparison. Uh, to show you a different type of white clover compared to the Natchez. This is Barbalanc white clover, uh, a Ladino type white clover. It doesn't flower early enough to produce seed that will ensure reseeding for us. That's where the Natchez comes in and that's what the, you saw the Natchez with all the profuse flowering. As a comparison, we would estimate that this, this variety right now in early June would have maybe one or two seed heads per square foot where the Natchez would have 20, 30, 50 seed heads per square foot. So that just gives you an, an idea of, of what the possible reseeding would be. This plant is likely not to reseed and is likely, you know, it, it may survive part of the summer if we have good rain, uh, as will the Natchez. But the, the reseeding and the, the uh, production is very, very different. Primarily the reseeding is where we would see the reseeding and the early flowering is where we see the difference. We expect Natchez to be, be sold this fall, in the fall of uh, 2014. Um, it is available through uh, the Barenberg uh, company and will be available anywhere that Barenberg seed are sold.